Creating a newspaper layout design in Adobe InDesign CS6. We have the Adobe InDesign application open here. We'll see in this tutorial creating a newspaper layout. At first, we'll have to do the page setup. And to do the page setup of the newspaper that we are going to design, first go to File, New, and then document or we could just press ctrl n we'll have a dialog box for the new document document preset keep default intent keep print number of pages let's say 16 uncheck facing pages start pages by default 1 Primary text frame will stay unchecked. Now is the paper size. There are some saved sizes available here. However, if there is any custom sizes required, we could manually enter from here. As we are going to do a newspaper design, it will be useful to know that newspapers are printed in a variety of sizes, with the most common sizes being broadsheet, berliner, tabloid, and compact. Broadsheet size, dimensions, height 600 mm or 23.5 inches and width 750 mm or 29.5 inches. Berliner, dimensions, height 315 mm or 12.4 inches and width 470 mm or 18.5 inches. Tabloid size, dimensions, height 280 mm or 11 inches and width 430 mm or 16.9 inches. Compact size, the size is the same as tabloid. The term being coined when the quality or high broke press titles moved from the traditional broadsheet size to the smaller tabloid size as they didn't want to be associated with the sensationalism of tabloid journalism. For our design, we'll go with the broadsheet size. And for the broadsheet size, there is no already saved option here in size option. So we shall custom enter the width 14.75 inches. Now the question would be why 14.75 inches when we have said earlier 29.5 inches width for the broadsheet size. 29.5 inches is for the whole two pages together of a newspaper as that's how layout designs are done and printed in the press. However, in this tutorial, we'll design only one page and for that reason, we are going to take half of the measurement of the width, which is 14.75 inches. The height remains the same, 23.5 inches. Now, obviously in design always does the measurement in pickup. So it converts and displayed our entered measurement in picker. Vertical orientation will be used. Number of column used will be 8 and the gutter will be 0.1875 inches. And margins will be default for the top, bottom, left and right, which is 3 picker. Now you can go to more options and set more criteria for the layout such as bleed and slug. However, we will not use any in this tutorial and stay with the fewer options. Now I think the page setup is done and let's press OK. So we have the page here with 8 columns on which we are going to add contents for our newspaper. We have 16 pages here as mentioned while doing the page setup. We'll only work with one page and you would know doing it with the rest of the pages. Let's enlarge it. The baseline is not available here. We want the baseline to be visible. 
Let's go to View option and Grids and Guides and select Show Baseline Grid. We have the baseline visible now. Here, every baseline is 12 pt in size by default. I would like to work with 14 pt baselines and for that, we'll go to Edit, Preferences and Grids. A dialog box pops up. You see, in Increment Every option, it says 12 pt as I have just mentioned. Let's increase it to 14 pt. Press OK. All the baselines are 14 pt here now. Now, as I have said earlier, we are going to design only one page layout and let's look at the page like exactly we are going to have our page layout. Now at first, we want to add the name of the newspaper. Let's grab the type tool for that. Write the news today. Font size is to be increased and keep the font style as impact. Then we'll do the alignment. Now from the text, we'll delete O and replace it with a vector image of the universe. I have it downloaded in my computer. First, let's create a box in which the image is going to be placed from the file and place option. Then find the location of the image. Now we'll try both fit or fill frame proportionally, whatever best works. Now just above the headline, we want to add some text with the type tool. It's basically the web address, Facebook address, and Twitter address. We want to use icon for all the addresses. With the place option, we'll insert the appropriate vector images. Same icon as used in the name of the newspaper will be placed for the web. A Facebook icon for the Facebook page and a Twitter icon for the Twitter address. Now just beneath the name of the newspaper, let's create a box and give it a green color. Now we want to add some text in the box relates to some information of the newspaper. Let's grab the text tool and write the text. Friday, Taka, November 7, 2014, 16 pages, and 5 Taka only. Now let's position it on the green box. We'll change the color of the text to white. Now we are going to add content column wise in the body area of the newspaper with different headings representing different news content. Contents should be written in the word format which must be saved already all in one place ready to be placed on the newspaper layout. Now let's work on the first news content. For that we we'll choose an image first. Let's take a rectangle shape to create a box. Insert an image from file and place option in this box. Click fill or fit frame proportionally to place the image. Now we want to add the related text content here. Now go to file and place. Find the word document that has the text content for this news. Open it. We see the text is with the cursor point. Let's just paste it here. Now we can see the text of this area and the rest of the text is waiting. Click on this plus sign and the rest of the text will be with the cursor point. Drag and select an area for the text to be placed. But you can see that the text is not placed as per the column wise. Now to sort that out, 
as you can see that here says 1 change it to 2 so the text will be placed in two columns within that selected area let's select all the text and justify it now similarly we'll place the rest of the text that is waiting to be placed within these three columns you can always tell that there is text waiting as there's a plus sign separate the columns and do the alignment and justification to make it look nicer now on the right sides column we'll use this space for a small ad let's take a rectangle tool and select the size of the rectangle box then place the picture of that ad within that box same again click fill or fit frame proportionally now let's place the text content under the image same way we'll go to file and place and find the doc file and open it stays with the cursor just drag and select the area and it will be placed press ctrl a within the box for selecting all the text and click justify for the text to fit nicely within the column area now under all these contents we are going to add the main headline of the news so go to file place and open the document with the headline select the text and change the color as required however we'll use the origin color itself now we are going to insert the related image of the headline we want a relevantly bigger image for the headline so let's create a box covering four columns area now file and place the image file within the box like before fill or fit frame proportionally now if you see the headline text content there's a plus sign showing there are the rest of the text waiting so click it and it's with the cursor and like we did before to place the rest of the text to the four columns and rest put on the next column always remember to justify the text now one by one we'll add rest of the news contents and headings similarly we'll insert the document file with the content in it we have saved the contents in the document file in a way that we don't have to do much customization of the font or sizes now under this headline as usual we'll add the image for this news to go to file and place choose the image and place it by dragging the area for it to be placed of course we could have done it other way taking a box and inserting the image within the box now same way the text for this headline will place it under the image like before column wise in three columns and justify them now we have two columns left on the right upper side here to add content to them similarly we'll bring the next heading in we don't want any image for this news so just place rest of the text in two columns and justify so we have completed the news under this heading now in this area for these four columns we'll use an add here so let's just place the add over here Let's create a box and insert the image place it proportionally so now we are almost done with adding the contents of the front page of the newspaper except the left hand side's column we'd like to add a few smaller news articles here 
insert the next news content with the heading. Just drag and select the area for the news content and place it. As usual, select the text and justify them. Next, we'll add a box to highlight a website advert. Give the box a color. Grab the type tool and type the web address and place it on the box. Change the color of the text to white to go with the background color. Now under this, we'll add the next content, simply selecting the area. I guess the area selected was too much for this content. So we can just minimize the area. Middle align the heading and rest of the text to be justified. Now similarly add the next news content. Do the necessary alignment. That leaves the place for the last news content. So just add the last news content and heading. Middle align the heading to sort of differentiating it from its body content and justify the rest of the text. So I guess we have completed the adding of all the headlines, related images and the details text for the headline news. So we have done the layout design of the first page of the newspaper. Just like this, we can now carry on designing the rest of the pages and inserting required images and text contents. And that ends our tutorial of creating a newspaper layout design in Adobe InDesign CS6.